Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you with a review product uh, video. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers, new watchers, boo babies, stinker butts. Hey, suckers. Coming to you with um, a vacuum. It's a stick vacuum. Now, I know you guys have seen uh, stick vacuums all over the internet in different stores. Um, but this one um, is called a Dean Key stick vacuum okay now i've done a review on some of their other products and i'm bringing you this one okay so you guys have seen me use this in some of my videos for a while now and it is a very good product um and when i say good product um it's easy to use it's easy to clean. It's not very heavy. And it's uh, movable. Okay, it's easy to move. Now, I say that it has this, the head part. The part that is the, um, the floor vac. Okay, the part that has the brush. And this is the part that goes against the floor, of course. Okay, now, it's, it's on a head that swivels. Okay. Now, there's a light that comes on sometimes, I guess, when it, it senses a dark area, the lights will come on in the front, okay? Now, right now, I have it um, on the short end to where I could vacuum the couch or, you know, something like that. Uh, but there's a little button right here that you just push and it separates. Hold on. Let me get it. <laughs> you got to be able to push and pull at the same time okay so now here's the vacuum part okay now of course it's dirty because I've been cleaning with it okay um, now there's two suctions okay when you turn it on it'll be on kind of sort of low okay then you squeeze it again and it goes on high here's your trigger right here this is your trigger and you pull it once Pull it again. Now it's on high. Okay. Now to empty this, um, there's two ways you can do it. Here's a little button right here. You push that, and the bottom falls out. Okay. I'm gonna put that back in there till I go empty it, and the bottom falls out. Now to clean it, you have to take the whole thing apart. Okay. There's two flaps on the side. One here, and one here. You flip those up, okay, and it comes apart in three pieces. So here is the filter, and you can wipe that off, and this is the battery part, okay. And here's your cup, okay. Now, the one thing that I found is getting this thing back together, you have to take your time because... It has to snap in the right way, and you have to, um, there's a piece back here on the back. You have to make sure you have that in first before you even try to, um, okay, see, make sure it's in, okay. Wait a minute. Let me put it back on this first. There we go. Snap it. This piece right here has to fit in this little groove right here, okay? Make sure it's in. Come on now. See? It's not easy. You gotta get it lined up just right <laughs> I do this every time y'all you know? there we go the little hooks at the bottom got to fit in it's all got to go together at the right time 
There we go. Now it snaps. See, I was struggling with it. Okay, so it comes with the extended pole, and you just have your little push buttons to release it. Okay, then you have your little short um, brush to where you can clean the couch, the blinds, you know, vacuum the ceiling fan or whatnot. Um, and it's an easy reach thing. It's not real heavy, but it is heavy. This is not something you want to let the kids play with or um, handle too much because you have to use your strength because this part is heavy, okay? It's not so till, to me, you will tire yourself out, no. But you have to be cautious uh, when doing when using this, okay? Now, I'm going to put it back together with the stick on it. I know you guys saw me use it or you will see me use it in my little cleaning snippet. And I'm getting ready to put it together the wrong way. You heard the snap? Okay. Now we're going to put the feet on. Okay, there we go. And it snaps. And here we go. Now, in the box, you get all of these pieces. And, of course, it's rechargeable. Okay, there's a charging dock, and I will add a picture at the end uh, that you mount on your wall, and you plug it into the wall, and it just snaps right in. Now, there's a certain way that you're supposed to do it. I did it the opposite way, okay? So I store my stick and my pieces separately from my vacuum, okay? So I can find it. In my box, I got this nice little envelope with your instruction booklet here and it tells you everything that you need it explains what the main body is the floor uh, brush the adapter the soft roller aluminum tube multi crevice nozzle um, the connection joints and the charging wall mount it tells you about all of that it tells you how to clean the dust cup um, to clean the filter and um, the cleaning brush that goes with it so it is pretty easy to read I have had some instructions on different items it was hard to read but this one is pretty easy to read and follow the instructions um, let me see if there's anything in here that I need to tell you um, now if I had to give this a score between 1 and 10 I would give it a six okay and the reason I would give it a six is because um, for my house we have a lot of traffic and um, certain carpets that you use this on you might not get a real good result because I have a shag rug and sometimes it's hard to get stuff off of it okay but now for bare floors, it works. I've used it in the kitchen when I spilled cayenne pepper. It sucked it up. Um, just everyday cleaning is good. You don't have to pull out the big vacuum that has the cord to it. And you can just keep going. Now, um, I have never let it go dead. So I can't tell you how long is the battery life. But I will put that information in the description area, okay? if I can find it. I'm pretty sure on their website they have all of that information. Um, because as soon as I stop using it, I put it back on the dock and just leave it there until I use it again. I have mine mounted in the kitchen where I can get it because that is kind of like the central part of the front part of the house, which you always want to have it kind of sort of tidied up, you know, loose spills, uh, trash, whatever, little particles on the floor. You could just grab it whether you have it on the long pole or the short part, okay? Um, like I said, I would give it a six. Um, I do like the fact that you can, um, change the suction on it, which is, hey. Now, I've never used a stick vacuum before. This is my first time, so I can't compare it to anything. But, um, if I'm able to down the line to get, uh, another brand, um, then I can come back and update you guys on what I think. Now, do I think it's something that you should purchase? That should be your choice um, because everybody has different things that they like, but I would say give it a try, okay? 
I would say give it a try because you can use it, um, especially in, you know, small spaces, okay? If you don't have storage for a really large vacuum, get you one that can hang on the wall. And if you don't want to start with one that's really, really expensive, then you should try this, okay? You could try it for as long as you want, see how you like it. And then if you decide you want to try something else to see if you get, you know, a better result, then you do so, okay? But y'all check out Dean Key. All of the information will be in the description area. For one, I love the color. Mm -hmm. And um, check out any codes for discounts. Um, when you go on the site, check out any other reviews. And um, I hope you like it. I thank you guys for watching. Hugs, kisses, and many blessings. And thank you, Dean Key, for reaching out to me and asking me to be a part of this uh, sponsored video. And um, see you in the next one. Bye, sugar.